Welcome back to the show. We are with Mr. Henry Satriago, the CEO of GE Indonesia. We were just talking about key milestones for GE. Um, GE has also, of course, been one of the uh, key leaders in promoting clean energy through the technology that yeah. GE has innovated. Right. You have a program called the Eco-Imagination right. Initiative. Right. Uh, of course, clean energy is, is very desirable for all, all nations, you know. There are questions, of course, about Indonesia being an emerging nation and an emerging uh, country, uh, economy. You know, does it, does it go with clean energy, which people in a lot of minds is more costly? Or does it go with traditional energy, which is coal and uh, <coughs> uh, fuel, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, if we zoom specifically, right, on when we talk about energy, let's say we talk about power. Right. The fact is this country needs current installed capacity probably around 40 to 50 gigawatts, right? And then the electricity ratio uh, probably around 70 to 80 percent, which means there are still about 20 percent of the right. nation live without the electricity. proper electricity. Um, the, the biggest challenge actually is Indonesia is like, it's is an archipelago scale. Yes. So you cannot, you know, um, uh, make a grid to yes, all of all the, the islands, islands. right? 17,000 and then 6,000 probably um, with, with people uh, in it. So um, the easiest solution, of course, burn diesel. And the cost can go up more than 30 cents per kilowatt hours. While our um, electricity rate, electricity price probably around 8 cents currently, 8 to 9 cents. So that's the challenge. Um, you know, generating electricity could be much more expensive compared to the selling price. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So um, what we are trying to do is not only, you know, provide the clean energy, uh, but also a specific solution for Indonesia. Um, uh, in terms of the technology, of course, there are a set of technology, right? You start from solar, wind, and then biomass yes, and right. ge geothermal and those kind of things. But the problem is whether it can be fit with the current situation of Indonesia and whether government policies are supporting on it. Right. So um, with our imagination means that we try to provide a technology and solution that are really environmentally friendly. And uh, we, we manufacture locomotive with uh, less emission. We manufacture aircraft engine with more efficient Efficiency, and less right. emission and those kind of things. And in terms of a power, currently we are focusing on rural electricities. So we are talking about gasification of a biomass. And then we are talking about, you know, uh, 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 providing gasification of, of uh, uh, biofuel as well. And uh, biomass in Indonesia, you know, a lot of things. Um, what chips, would be considered biomass? Um, anything, you know, kind of like a wood chip, bamboo, um, and then even until the, uh, the rice husk. Oh, okay. But then, you know, uh, from all of those input, we need to also calculate um, the cost for uh, pretreatment. Right. The more you have a silicon that, the more, you know, right. cost for it. So, again, efficiency is another, uh, is another issue, issue here. Um, I was I was on the uh, on the panel together with pa, pa Nur Pamuji and the CEO of PLN. He said that the efficiency that we need in Indonesia for electricity is not about the transmission; it's more on generating. Regenerating, power. Right. right. So how how does Indonesia create greater efficiency in power generation? Well, that's provocative questions uh, <laughs> because I you know the one who should be answered that is uh, PLN. Uh, um, but currently, we we are we are talk we really depend on coal, right? Yes. And and then uh, of course there's another technology, clean coal technology yes. that can produce you know cleaner um, emission, but also more efficient. Uh, but for me, you know, gas is another issues issue that need to explore more of because course. gas is. You are, we are talking about natural gas. Natural gas yes. and also biogas. And biogas, uh, right? And 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 and. And we are a gas producer in Indonesia, so uh, you know, I should answer a lot of 
questions right. about 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 better, cleaner power, you know. Right. So that really, of course, is in the realm of government policy, right? Right. Uh, right. But in terms of GE and other private sector companies, what you can do, of course, is look for opportunities and find solutions. So, for example, you said that you're trying to help uh, more rural communities generate electricity because PLN can't get to them, right? They so can. They can. They can now, is it? But they're not. They need to have a partner. Ah, I as see. a you know, technology company like GE, and also an EPC company, and also those who has the fuel for it. So all of these parties need to work together and then provide you know, a small power plant with a gas engine around one or two megawatt, and then can be fueled by uh, uh, palm oil mills um, effluent, right. or, uh, or bamboo, right. or wood chip. Right. So the technology is there. The technology is there. The political will is there or not there? We need more. So we need greater political right. will. Right, especially on the feed-in tariff. I see. So you need to raise the tariffs. Right, right. For that, for that, you know, specific. If we compare the cost for generating power using diesel and then versus the gasification, biomass, um, you know, biomass still more efficient more efficient yeah but okay. then the question is we need to have the learning curve on it right so more pilot projects need to be you know developed. so a little bit of experimentation pilot yep. projects yep. see how it gets yep it and gets then government policy on the feed-in tariff that can help them you know will will create a lot of changes right we'll hold it there for the min uh, for a moment uh, this could be one of the key priorities for the new government coming, uh, coming in the office. We'll take that up again with Mr. Henry Satriago, the CEO of uh, GE Indonesia. Stay with me.